Hello everyone, my name is Eugene, I'm from Melbourne Engineering Consultants. Today we'll be looking at an engineering service that we offer which is a stormwater drainage design, So, which is a dual uh, occupancy in Clayton. Uh, okay, we've got two units, one in the front, one at the back, and we have been asked uh, by the client to design a stormwater drainage system, which we have done. First, we'll go through the requirements, and uh, after we go through the requirements, we'll explain what we've done and uh, why we've done it. Basically, this is a legal point of discharge, which is uh, issued by the council. The council over here, if you have a look in the highlighted section, asks for a detention a stormwater system to be on site. This is because it's a two unit development using water sensitive urban design principles, which uh, the designer can pick. And uh, the options are infiltration tanks, rainwater tanks with water reuse uh, for toilet flushing. Uh, and the purpose of this is to reduce the stormwater runoff quality and to improve the discharge quality to the discharge point, which in this case is to the curb and channel. Uh, the tension system must have a restricted outflow and have the stormwater runoff that exceeds runoff uh, from 35% of the site area. That's the document, uh, legal document that's been issued to us by the council. So we have to design a drainage system that complies with that. So I'll just put that to the side. But let's have a look on the computer. On the computer it might be easier to see instead of looking on paper. In this case, we've got a two unit development. Uh, what we've done uh, to comply with each point, with the legal point of discharge, is to design a detention system, which is the storage system, which you see a 300 diameter storage pipe here like so, and then a 300 storage pipe here like so. The council asks us uh, to supply a system which, uh, according to the legal point of discharge, restricts the outflow so we've installed a uh, orifice pit uh, which restricts the outflow and uh, we've got an outfall drain to the curb and channel and uh, basically to connect the rest of the dwelling we needed to do a drainage system to connect the rest of the houses we've got the 150 diameter pipe with from the front to the back and this is the new dwelling at the back and what we've done here is connected all the downpipes to the back to a rainwater tank which is used for toilet flushing and then the overflow for this goes to the pit at the front and then uh, the existing house to comply with council's conditions we've put another rainwater tank at the back uh, to collect the stormwater and then we connect it to the pit and then ultimately discharge it to the curb and channel using this uh, pit system we've got 600 by 600 pits everywhere so this is a simple design which is economical to construct uh, meets council's guidelines and it works uh, quite well on site this uh, particular development has been built and um, it was uh, constructed with no problems thank you very much for watching